so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be trying Lizzo's new shapewear slash athletic wear brand produced by Fabletics called Yitty. I swear in the back of my mind, I can hear Lizzo saying it. Yeah. I really like that Lizzo shares a lot of body positivity things, so I was excited to try the brand. Yitty is produced by Fabletics. Now, if you've not heard of Fabletics, it's an athletic wear company that does memberships. And we need to talk about the memberships before we can talk about anything else. Yitty actually wasn't available in Canada at all unless you were a member. So I had to become a member to shop the Yitty collection. Like you get the deals if you're a member. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys to the Fabletics website. This is the Canadian one, so it may look a little bit different for you depending on where you're shopping from. Oh wait, hold on a second. Has it changed? Since I shopped? I did talk to the Fabletic support and they said they were working on getting Yiddy available in Canada. So maybe now you don't have to be a member. But when I bought this like a month ago, you did have to be a member. Headliner shaping high waist leggings, new VIP offer, two for $24. And if you are not a member, you can see it, it's very small here. These would be $89.95. Like that's a huge, huge savings. So clearly it pays to be a VIP. But what does it take to be a VIP, you're asking? Well, that's what I was wondering. On the sixth of each month, you'll be charged $49.95 for your exclusive membership benefits. These benefits include access to exclusive products, so in this case it was the Yiddy collection, but not anymore, and a promotional member credit which unlocks our best prices. Member credits can be redeemed for any two-piece kit or items up to $80. Skip as often as you would like. Cancel easily online anytime. Now I was searching around a little bit online and people were saying that it's extremely difficult to cancel your Fabletics membership. So I was thinking we should try and cancel mine and see how that goes. Okay, I am going to try to cancel my Fabletics subscription membership. Okay, so $54.95 for the Canadian Fabletics and it becomes a member credit. So you're not paying $54 for nothing, you're paying for a member credit. So you can buy things with your credit. It's not just charged for the membership. Okay, I didn't know that. Select a reason that I'm canceling. I guess I just don't see value. That was so easy. What? Who is having trouble canceling their thing? That was so easy. Maybe when Fabletics was like newer, their cancellation was difficult, but that was like super easy. That was no problem at all. Okay, well, there's no hot tea here. It was easy. Okay, I have no idea how that went because that was future Mia, but let's get back to the site. So there's lots of products here, as you can see. I'm really, really liking the colors. Like we've also, we've obviously got neutrals, but then there's also these like fun cheetah prints and neons, which I mean, I don't really wear fun colors that often, but I do like looking at them. So I think it is fun. My mom's also going to be trying them on. I have everything laid out and I got one for me and one for my mom so we can see on two different body shapes. My mom is more curvy and I am more of a stick. So this idea of memberships to get a good deal on clothing brands is fairly new, I feel like. I think Savage X Fenty and Fabletics are like the two most common brands that are doing this. I personally don't like the membership-based programs because I don't like being charged monthly, especially if I'm not getting anything that month. Like, I feel like the only scenario that works well for a membership is if you are like an avid athletic wear shopper to the point where you're buying new clothes every single month so that $50 is like worth it. One more thing that I want to check is I want to see where these clothes are produced. So let me just grab one thing. I'll just grab this and I'll stand a little bit long so you guys can see that I'm not wearing sweatpants. Okay, this also says beep, I'm sustainable. This bag is made with 100% recyclable materials to reduce waste and save energy. So I'm not looking at the product just yet. Is this recyclable? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we've got the Yiddy tag and then it says made in China. So I know a lot of people were curious about where this was produced. It's made in China. Not super shocked because I knew that the other Fabletics pieces were produced in China, so they're using the same production probably. Okay, so this has probably been a very long intro and I'm sure all of you guys are chomping at the bit for me to invite my mom up here. So let's bring her up and let's try the shapewear on. 
All right. Here she is. <laughs> She's here. 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 To bear all on the internet. <laughs> Yitty. Fabletics created Yitty. Do you know what Fabletics is? Is that created by somebody? Uh, Fabletics. Kate Hudson? Yeah. Uh, founder, Kate Hudson. You're right. Yes, I knew something. Okay, well, Kate Hudson is a thief. What? Do you want to know why? Why? <laughs> Kate Hudson is not a thief. That was just a joke because of the membership program. So I explained that to my mom. But I was just kidding, okay? I love Kate Hudson as much as the next person. Please don't come at me. Mom, Kate Hudson got me. <laughs> I got got by Kate Hudson. I literally gave her the new for no reason. Ooh, yay! So these are the Mesh Me Smoothing Midi Bralettes. And then we also have Mesh Me Smoothing High Waisted Short. So these are like shapewear, but they're also not to like the highest degree. They're smoothing. Ooh. So like, let's say you might have like cellulite or something. This apparently <laughs> will do smoothing. Why are you laughing? Just hypothetically, you might Hypothetically, have. if you had. <laughs> Contrary to everybody telling me that I am not a candidate to try shapewear, I actually am. And I actually have my own insecurities, even though I am small. I still have my thing. So there, take that. <laughs> These are weird. That is weird. Do you see how it's like an underwear? Yeah. Like, okay, so the only part of these shorts, you guys, that is opaque is like a little underwear thong, and then the rest of it is like a see through mesh. Mm, so, nice. would you work out in these? Or is this like for wearing underclothes? This looks small. I'm concerned. Okay. Hey. That's the first set. Let's try it on. Okay, let's do it. Do you, are you gonna wear your underwear under this if it's supposed to look like a thong? I don't know because like it looks kind of see-through still. Like look at this fabric. Oh, it actually goes on easier than I expected. I'm just so confused by it, mom. Here we have those on. I firstly am like rediscovering what the purpose of these are. Because initially I thought this is workout gear, but I think this is actually designed to go under clothes. And what makes me think that is I don't think it would be like presentable to have, okay, cause I have my underwear on because this is YouTube people. Same. Clearly. <laughs> if I didn't, this would be not. <laughs> because look in the front even, look how skinny that gets. <laughs> <laughs> like, I refuse. It looks small, I put it on. It was actually easy to get into. Yeah. It's comfortable. It it's not really restricting at all. And it feels like it would be breathable. I feel like this is getting, like with this, it's getting stretched a lot. Like yours isn't <laughs> like that, but mine is like. <laughs> really stretched. My issue is the same as you with like the waist here. This band is so tight that it's pushing out like just over the top. Yeah. Like, and I feel like the same thing's happening with you. So like if you were what? there, just, <laughs> excuse me, what? Mia, what are you saying? <laughs> excuse me, what are you saying is happening to you? <laughs> excuse me, I hadn't noticed that. Thanks for noticing. Is that how it's supposed to be? Like, cause it almost feels like there shouldn't be that gap for the opportunity for <laughs> Okay, we're gonna put you in this dress. Okay. And then we will put the side by side without the dress on so you guys can see what the shapewear actually did. Okay, let me look at you. Okay, so say if I was just wearing this. Honestly, your waist looks itty bitty. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I would say this is low to medium impact. Yeah, it's very comfortable though. I like that, yeah, it's yeah. really comfy. Yeah, we could go dancing. <laughs> One thing I will say though, I wasn't sure if this was something you could work out in. Yeah. <laughs> Again, look how thick this band is. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this should have been one piece. Okay, this is the bodysuit headliner shaping open bust thong bodysuit. We both have it matching in brown sugar. Ooh, this is one of these shapewear pieces. And some people were a little bit confused about this shapewear because it's like this metallic fabric. 
So I'm interested to see how it looks under like a garment, if you can oh. see that shimmer underneath. Cause think about the Skims shapewear. The Skims shapewear was definitely higher impact. Yeah, this feels a lot more stretchy and a lot more easy to get into. Yeah, like it seems like it'll be a lot more comfortable. And this part, then you can... These are the little know, buttons. You can... <gasps> oh my gosh, I actually, as a long torso person, <laughs> it is so nice to have two options for the buttons here. <laughs> that is so great. Let's put it on. Okay, let's do it. By the way, you guys, I thought based on the product photo, this was gonna come all the way up over, but we had to <laughs> put on one of the bras from later in the video so that we weren't literally hanging out. You guys should have seen the x-rated moment that I witnessed of my mom. <laughs> that is totally going to be censored. <laughs> Why? Here's my issue with this. First of all, I actually really like the slippery fabric. It's easy to get into, but I just feel like there's a lot of compression happening right here and no compression happening on my stomach. Mm -hmm. Which for me, and I feel like a lot of people, want that stomach control. I'm like, even though there's a lot of layers on, I'm surprised how comfortable it is. It Honestly. Is, it is shockingly comfortable. Yeah, like, okay, it might be mildly helping my tummy. Mildly. But I think it is pushing a lot right here. Yeah, yeah. it's pushing where your ribs are, which yeah. is weird to me. Honestly though, it's been really comfortable. I'm just shocked because I thought this was gonna be high impact and it's like low. Okay, these. I'm kind of enticed by these because they're in different boxes. I just did the whole beginning and my collar was like this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> your towel shirt was all flipped weird. <laughs> these are the only things that are in different packaging. Yeah. These so are the nearly naked shaping high-waisted brief and the nearly naked it doesn't say. Bra. Mine says midi bra. Midi bra. Yeah. Okay, so these are both shaping tools, but mm. I thought that was a shaping. I thought the other thing was a shaping mm -hmm. thing. Unless just bras and panties go in a different bag. Mom, oh, please don't say panty. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually illegal. What? Why would it be against the law? <laughs> panty. It's Andy. <laughs> okay, wait, look at this. This is really satisfying. Oh my gosh. That is. Now this is the shape where I know when it's like super small. <laughs> like you can't get into it. And look at this waist control. That is going to really hold us in. There's not much difference between a medium and a small. Oh my gosh, look at. Oh my gosh. This is a medium and medium to a small. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just wonder about that. I do though appreciate it not being a thong. <laughs> yeah. Cuz like the only thing worse than tight clothes is a tight thong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm excited yeah. to try these. Mhm. Mm I've chosen to leave my underwear on. <laughs> no, no. I'd, I'd like to, to keep, keep it on. It on. <laughs> Lots is happening today on this here video. <laughs> Look at what's happening. Come it's rolling up. Come I'm not in. liking. Come I'm not in. liking what's happening here. I'm not liking this. <laughs> <laughs> this is pushing weird things. I okay. I've got to pull it up. Here's my thought. If it has to be touching. Just make it a bodysuit. Oh gosh. <laughs> There's just not enough fabric to this one. And like, my concern is okay. Here's how I feel about this one. I, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this also really shows like what underwear covers versus what these cover. Mm -hmm. Like, come on people. For you to have to have these touching, otherwise, it's all gonna come out the top. Yeah. I feel like that's not what shapewear is supposed to do. Yeah, like I feel like fixing one problem and creating another problem. Well, yeah, because as soon as you put a dress on, now you're gonna have this. Yeah, so now if I pull this down, the fabric is loose here. It's not gonna hold me in. And then look well, at, like, look. now look at this band. Look at how, what's happening there. It's rolling. <laughs> oh, I hate that when that happens. I Okay, let me pose in my shapewear. This one has pretty good tummy control for me, which is nice because before there was like a little bit of, you could see my stomach. So I like that for this. 
I see an issue. What's the issue? <laughs> Something weird is happening here. What is that? Is that right where it ends? Yeah, that's where the underwear... Okay, so that's where it's all going. The underwear is up high, so it's giving nice tummy control. But because it's pulled up so high, I'm pooching out in the thigh, upper thigh area. Can you pull it down to get rid of that and see what happens? Okay. I'm fighting as hard <laughs> as I can to make this work. Okay, okay, so this now your hips are controlled. Yeah, but now I have something weird happening here. Okay, it's taken an issue <laughs> and made a new issue. Yeah, because I don't usually pooch out that hard, but it's like pushing it now. Yeah, it's, it's pushing it all up. It's it's <laughs> rolled down. Which is exactly why this should be a bodysuit. So yeah. that it can't oh. escape. <laughs> you looked better without the shapewear. Okay, so this, I already opened yours because I was seeing where they were made. What is this? Oh, oh my you know. gosh. You know when you want to wear your cat suit shapewear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had to get this color because I was like, why are they producing <laughs> this cat suit shapewear in neon yellow? <laughs> Why not though? I think this is supposed to be higher impact, which it honestly mm. feels like it's going to give like a full body compression. It's going to hold me my saddlebags in. Goodbye saddlebags. I'm I'm kind of curious about it because maybe it would be something to exercise in and stuff. Yeah, I don't even know what's the difference between the active wear and then the shape wear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> okay, I love how it shapes the legs. Like the legs aren't pooching out. The legs have the highest control on this cast. Mm -hmm. I was actually shocked with how good of a control. Like these extra stitches, I feel like there's some engineering here that I don't understand. <laughs> the one thing I can say about this is it's not tight on the stomach. Like it's not pushing us. There's no stomach control no. on this one. Maybe it's also just a lot of personal preference, but like I, I personally would never wear this. Yeah. If I'm gonna go through putting this on every day, I want some control. Stomach control. Yeah. You should put your dress on. Okay. One thing I will say is although it has no shapewear like compression on the stomach, it does have some smoothing. Except for right here. Oh That's yeah, so you can weird. see the like lines. It's so of the predominant right there. Something weird is happening. <laughs> I feel held in. In every place except right in the tummy. I like how it's smooth on the sides here. Yeah, I, I think it does awesome for like here down. Mm -hmm. Like if you are insecure about your legs and you want some compression on your legs, these are awesome. And I'm hoping that's what the leggings do. Last, but certainly not least, this is another shapewear. Now this is a legging and sports bra. So my theory on this is kind of like what we were just saying. This would be like you'd work out in it, but you would be wearing shapewear. Okay. I think. Mm. I was a little bit confused with Lizzo's collection only from that point of view of mm. like, is this for working out in or is this for wearing under clothes or is it for both? That is nice. It's really nice. <laughs> it's nearly the same idea as that cat suit. Like mm. see the stitching? But two, two pieces. I like it. It's interesting though, cause it's all this metallic, almost like 80s fabric. Yes. You know, it's different. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Oh shit. I guess I should have sized down. I've been a small thus far. I think the Cassie was an extra small and these pants definitely should have been an extra small. As you can see, I've got like gapping. So I'm not getting a lot of the shapewear benefits. Although on the tops of my thighs, I can feel the compression, but so I should have sized down. So if you're my size, I would suggest an extra small. And even like at the bottom. So we got to depend on mom. <laughs> Here. Our fate lies in <laughs> your hands right now. <laughs> I feel like it's loose on the bottom, like from about the... Yeah, about, you actually have... Look at it. They're not... Yeah, they're loose on me. Hmm. They're doing something good in the thighs. Yeah, that's what Definitely. I'm too. This thing is happening again. I have to pull them up though, because if I don't pull them up, then they're gaping a bit here too. Yeah. So I think this is how they're supposed to be. Would you agree? 
there's not like an even amount of dispersal. So you're literally, it just comes at the top because it's all squishing right here. If it actually had some like squishing throughout the whole thing, it would disperse it more evenly. But instead they just have this wicked small band. This really thick band that was on the underwear. That's what they need on they, here. This should be here. Cause you know what else too? Like then, then it would solve this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not loving this. And I wanted to love it. I really, really wanted to love it. I'm, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm like actually disappointed. Like, I don't even, I have not watched any videos of anyone else reviewing the shapewear. So I don't know what the consensus is. Like I know people were annoyed about the memberships, but I don't know what people actually thought of the shaping. Okay, let's do our final thoughts. Let's take a minute. Okay, get our final thought. The review, the review. Okay, first of all, Fabletics produced it, made in China, and if you're not a member, the price is pretty pricey. If you're a member and you're willing to pay the $50 a month, it's definitely a better cost, but then you're paying $50 a month. Now, let's forget about that. Let's just judge the pieces. I feel like I may have had some unreasonable expectations because I've tried Skims and I actually didn't really realize how good Skims was and I'm not trying to promote Kim Kardashian's brand. I really hate to do that. Overall though, I really like the colors. I think it's cute and I also like Lizzo being size inclusive, like with 6X to extra small. I really, really like that. Shockingly so, I almost feel like my favorite piece, maybe it's just I like this color, but that first set we tried on, I actually really like it. I like the mesh, it was like easy mm. to get into. It did quite a bit of smoothing in the stomach area. And I thought that was cute. I don't think this is like a must have shapewear. I almost feel like it's if you want really limited compression, this is cute. Like if this was a jumpsuit so that everything couldn't pop out the top and then it would go down the legs a bit yeah. so there's more room to disperse it, these would be awesome. But I'm just saying like if you like the tummy control, I would say this is the one that does the most tummy control. Definitely. And then if you're looking for leg control, I would say that this cat suit did the best. The bras and everything, the sports bras and stuff like that. Like I loved how they shaped the upper under the arm, the bra area at the back. Mm -hmm. So the, the bras are really good. The bras are good. They're comfortable, they're easy to get into. But yeah, just a little bit more tummy control with the leggings and the shorts, unless they had the big band. And then when you have to pull them up higher, I just want more fabric on the legs. So. No, like this didn't make me feel like I need to buy more Yitty. Yeah, like you're gonna probably go in and cancel now. Try and cancel. I am definitely. <laughs> Well, mom, thank you for trying on this shapewear. Do you think that you'll wear any of the pieces again? I actually do. Well, that has been the review of Yitty Shapewear by Lizzo. It's a mixed review. I mean, it's cute. I don't love the membership program. I didn't think that the shapewear was perfect by any means. I'd say I'd give it like a seven out of 10, which is not bad. But I don't feel the need to suggest you guys to run out and try the shapewear like it's a must have. The one thing about this that is really, really good is the size inclusivity. Like let's say you are a 6X and you can't find shapewear in your size everywhere. This is a great spot to get shapewear. So for that reason, I do like this brand. I'm interested to hear what you guys think of the brand. So make sure to sound off down below and let me know if we tried anything wrong or something, or if there's anything you want us to retry, just let me know down below. We are always open to your advice. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.